All right, this is day six, and you guys seen it at the very beginning, and we'll uh, hopefully see how it goes now. And uh, he's already coming up to you. He's already coming up. So, you know, like I said, um, it, it's some there's different approaches about this, and I just like using a rope because it it just is better for me. And as you see, he's <laughs> he's doing better. So we'll just move easy, and and hopefully I can pet him easy. And good boy, bud. All right. So we're gonna. Try to do the halter rhyme, and then usually when he sees the rope, yeah. <laughs> See, hang on, bud. Hang on. So I'll, I'll go back and push him through and signal him up. Come here. And just because, you know, this is a really good thing because just because you halted him one day and you petted him one day and you go out there thinking you're going to do it the next day and you reach up a little quick and they turn and kick you. So colts are unpredictable, so pay attention and be safe. So just rub all over them or you're going to be putting that rope. Good boy. Good boy. Look at you. You all right? Good boy. Look. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Rub up on that other side right there as you reach over. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Good boy. So as you see, he got the halter on him, and then um, he's, he's pretty calm. You can rub him around, and you walk with him. Come on. And you couldn't do that the other day. So we made big time progress. So we're gonna walk across the aisleway and go over into the arena. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start some things. You have to start somewhere. And and the thing is, is I want to start teaching him softness and giving to pressure. So giving to pressure, it would be you riding him later and picking up the reins and him going, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, uh, you know, and be real, um, real soft in the bridle. And this is the beginning of it, is teaching them to soften. And we're gonna do this sideways and forward. But right now we're gonna just pull steady pressure down. And as soon as he gives to me, which he's not, and he's gonna look for the answer left and right, Nope. So he's leaning back in it. And what he's gonna do is he'll, he'll go, well, let's see, I went left and I went right. I went that way, that didn't work. That didn't work, forward didn't work. What the heck? So his little wheels are just turning right now, trying to figure out what the answer is. And when he gives me the right answer, I'll let go. And he'll learn from the release of pressure. Good there boy. Go. So there you go. So he's kind of getting the idea now. Hey, I feel that pressure. I give. Good boy. Reward that. Even if it's just a one, you almost don't even get to see it. Look at that. He's already doing better on it. Good boy, buddy. See? So now he's thinking, all right, well, I'm getting this down. Don't, don't come forward. <laughs> wow, look at you. You're being good. Good boy. Good boy, look at you. So, so I'm going to start this flexing from up here. I'm not even going to really get, because... I don't know if he'll just take off or what, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is just start the idea, get the idea down. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm, see, he's a little worried right there. I can't tell you enough, hang on to the rope. So your body placement should be behind the stirrup. Give him room to come around because if you're crowding him, he can't bring his head around there and, and, and get in there. Good boy. Good boy. Now I'm gonna start this flex right here. I'm not, I'm not. I know what a real flex is, but I'm gonna, you gotta start somewhere. So I just want him to kind of bend a little bit. Good boy, look at you, oh wow. Good boy, good boy. 
So he's going to think that he needs to bend around, walk around. So he doesn't know what bending is, right? So he's just going to go around and around. <laughs> And if I get anything, I'm gonna let go. Good boy. That's, yeah, he's coming around here pretty good. So, good boy. So I'm gonna try it again. Come on, come on, come on. Good boy, he's really giving there. So I'll move it over here so you guys can see. Good boy, good boy. Again, hang on to that rope. I'm going to try to pull him around. Ask lightly. Ask. Ask. Good boy. Now I'm going to let him go. I'm, normally, I would let that rope slide through my hand or really give it back to him. I just, I'm real cautious about this right here because you can really, you can get it if he decided to. I, yeah. All right. So we're going to do this other side. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So just reward that. Good boy. Look at you. Good boy. That's the first time I've done that on that side. That was pretty exceptional right there. He even went to himself. But normally, normally a lot of times they come, like when you're standing there, they come to you, come to you, come to you. It's like, no, don't accept that. You have to have them go to themselves. And... So we'll, we'll see how it goes here again. Good boy. And so you can, where your spur would be, you can take and touch it with your fingers. Don't, I wouldn't do it on a colt. I wouldn't push, but I would touch. He feels that touch and it's gonna get his brain to go, oh, I need to go there. So I just put my hand right here, like pet him first, take your hand down there. Now ask him around, and I'm just tapping. I'm, I'm tapping like this. I mean, just lightly, just, just to feel of a touch. See how this goes. So when I said, don't poke, touch. And right now, I want to get the point across. He's a baby. We, we, as you've seen, we just started. So rub him, and then give him some room to come around here, and just touch him right here. Touch. Hang on to that rope. He's gonna to go to the feel of that touch. So get back here, hang on to your rope. Good boy. Good boy. So that was really good. <laughs> you, you've seen most people when they're riding the horse straight out and they turn, the horse just stays straight and turns. They just, they don't, they don't arc and bend into the turn. And this is what starts the nice arced circles. And you get the flexing because later on, when we put spur on, slide down out and around to your hip, that's your rein. He's gotta be given to it and rounding up and going into the turn. And so this is the beginning of it, flexing on the sides in the halter. And that way they learn to be soft in the bridle. All right, so you wanna, you, you don't want them to get scared of the whip. So this, this is really good because if you have a horse that you've not done this with and all of a sudden you're gonna do this, this is how you would go about it. Slowly at first, one side. So you would go like this, rhythm. Keep it rhythm because if you go fast and then go slow, you're changing it up, you're gonna get a reaction. So just go nice rhythm, nice rhythm. Keep your hand up here. And, and you can be right here like this. And, but keep your hand up here as a block. And, and you just go nice rhythm, nice rhythm. And then you can switch, come over here and do the same thing. Nice rhythm. Good boy. Teach him. All right, the, you're, what you wanna do is take away the reactiveness. And this could be with you on them. Um, doing things on the ground with him, moving your arm. He's not jumpy like he was. 
And so you go see them jump right there. They'll be in your lap. <laughs> so you want to kind of be ready for it. But just go left, right, left, right. What what are, they, what are the horses usually spook at? Things that move, right? Things that make noise. They hate. You ever been on a horse and noise happens and the boy they're like on it, right? So so you're riding along in a plastic bag or a limb moves and they spook and they'll jump out from under you. So this kind of stuff here. If you're ever out on a trail and you notice your horse getting spooky while you're out riding and you're seems to every week get worse and he's spooking more come back and do your desensitizing you so i'm going to increase this um whip pressure here and you'll see what i'm talking about i think so i have not done this with him at all so we'll see what goes i'm going to start with one side um, and i'm going to i'll start out slow and then i'm going to really get it going so keep your hand up here for signs of relaxation. Anything, cock leg, lick his mouth, head down. And sometimes you gotta keep this up for a little bit. Lowering his head, blinking, he's not even blinking. So you quit. Now I'll go do it again. I'll start out a little light and increase it. So you see the difference? It, it, you keep doing this and they just get quieter and quieter. And so th that was real right there. That, that was like, he was like scared to death, right? Well, how would you like to be on him? And something scared by him. I mean, you're gonna get, you know, who knows where you might go, next county or state. <laughs> so what happens here is the horse's mindset, I'm thinking about this. When I, when I was doing everything real light, he's like, ah, I'm okay with that. But as you, you've seen, as I increase that, he's like, what does a horse think? What, how do they think? They think like, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I'm going to run first. I'll think about it when I get a mile from here. And well, you want to get that thought out of there by, see he's licking his mouth. So by doing the desensitizing, he won't be that reactive to go, hey, I got to run to the next county and take off with you while you're in the saddle. So you want to try to do all these things to teach him that, hey, you don't have to run. You don't have to flight first, think later. How about you just do what I asked and we work together and you don't have to be so reactive. So when he, when he did react and he took off around the pin, I had to keep the rope and keep control of him as best I could to keep the rhythm going. And I'm pulling on him, trying to get him to not run and face, I want him to face up. And so his little mind is going, I've, he's scared. He's in a flight first. Run away. So when, when he does run um, he, and you stop the whip, then he learns that by running, that goes away. So that's why you want to continue that pressure on. Whether it be a bag, uh, he, he, we will be using a bag and put it on the end of the rope and throw it around his legs and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be another video later. But right now, we're just trying to get this kind of stuff established. But if you take away the pressure any time, I don't care what's going on, the horse throwing its head in the air, rearing up, and you just give them total relief and don't turn them or don't do anything, that horse learns 
the release of that pressure is what gets him out of it.